A bond measure passed in 2014 estimated costs for rebuilding Klamath Union High School at $34 million. Those estimates have mushroomed to $50 million. That has parent Margaret Adam concerned. Such a huge margin of error regarding the bids. That doesn't seem like good business. About 90 people were at a meeting Thursday night to discuss what happened. Architect Scott Rose says it's a combination of several factors, including a limited number of bids and a complex project. What we're seeing are bids across the state for public works projects, specifically schools, in the 25 to 30 percent higher than their planning budgets. As a result, the project is back on the drawing board. The project team's really focused on, you know, redesigning the project. We're, we're looking at a lot of ways to reutilize more of the existing structure. But that will delay completion of the project. It was supposed to be done for my daughter's senior year, and um, I'm concerned about what's going to happen next year. The architect stressed that construction will be completed on budget. The project that we are providing is the same project that they promised the voters before the bond. What we're doing is looking at a different way to accomplish the same goals. In Klamath Falls, Lyle Ahrens, NBC2 News.